Have you ever wondered where cotton comes from? If you don't live in the south, you probably have never seen this before. This is a uh, cotton field that is just now getting its buds before the cotton balls uh, come out. I'm going to show you something here. So it's rowed just like every other crop. But what's really cool about this is you can see the flower is starting to form. And then behind it, this bush right here, here is the actual cotton ball. And if you notice, it's not a ball. There's like one, two, three, four, there's about six on there. This is what the bud looks like before it pops open. And the plant is real gnarly. Um, it's got a lot of real kind of twiggy looking things on it. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's a very brutal plant. Um, meaning it's, it's not real, it's very, it's got a purpose. And it is just to grow those buds. So this field now has got yellow and red, etc. in it. In about um, two to three weeks, this whole field will be almost white. So right around October, um, roughly about October, um, somewhere thereabouts, it gets really, really, really white. And all of those, the leaves start to brown, the weather gets cold, and all those cotton balls kind of pop out. Now the other thing that's neat about a cotton field is you will see these things. This is where the boll weevils are. And boll weevils, um, if you read about them, uh, used to destroy fields. So inside there is a sterile female, and the males are attracted to it, and they'll go in there and then they can't get out. So I'm not gonna mess with it, but if they're around, they'll, they'll go to that first. So there is where cotton comes from. You're in rural North Carolina, it's all over the place right now. It's either tobacco, soybeans, corn, and now cotton has become very popular. So, that's what a cotton...